whenever you're ready. It's right. Do you want to take the mask off? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the song I picked was a Bruce Springsteen, a girl from Tom, a uh, joke. Uh, yeah, uh, welcome to my pitch. Uh, the task was set my final project was to make a music video, and by that I the ideas I've come up with and the themes that I've been exploring. Uh, the theme of my uh, music video will be about poverty. I want to promote the idea of poverty and how we will end it by showing homeless people a collection of fictional narrative of a journey on my own poverty. I want to showcase how people poverty really live. I want to show the life of a person in poverty, from living underneath a bridge to living in a car, from the boiled up shop showing a man's unemployment in my area. So you see pictures of the stuff to the right I want to include. It will be backed up with facts about poverty, which will be blended into the environment around it, such as in walls or on cardboard that the home people will hold up. Uh, the facts will include uh, some of the examples of the facts. So, one of the things we put in poverty, uh, as well as people in poverty, used to have high paying jobs but due to circumstances that has changed. So, my target audience is um, ages 25 to 35. This is taking into consideration the research I did that found that people who are that genre, as well as people who have enough money to uh, donate to property charities will watch that music video. I want to appeal to those sort of people as well as youth wanting to rap and want to see flashy cars in uh, those music videos. As I said, the economic class will be up D to C1 and I'm trying to urge people to donate and I think people who are really high economic class are a bit snobby and might not want to donate. That's why I might include in the economic class of uh, a. So uh, I've done a bit of research to do with uh, angles and uh, camera angles and themes. That's how I came to my concept video. Uh, it's really captured my eye, the concept video, due to how creative you can be with it and how you can use different ideas to uh, form a narrative for an idea. I used a lot of I wanted a lot of visual techniques in my music video, such as making a video dark, dark and gritty. To do this, I'll shoot it in black and white. For the most part, except when I'm showcasing the rich houses, I'll do it in colour to show how they live in a much more colourful lifestyle and uh, <coughs> how people who live in poverty live in the shadows, as they say. So I'll use the themes such as uh, video techniques, such as the high and low angles to showcase how people can be high and low than each other just from the money they make. I did a lot of close-up shots to try and make the video more personal to the viewer and make them seem more connected to the narrative it's about. I think it's personal, but more likely to make to the charity that I'll be listed in the distribution section. So I'm distributing this through YouTube and a music video channels such as Kerrang! or MTV. This is because I want a video to be a more cinematic and not just be broadcast by on a social media channel. And I don't think people will sit down and watch a six minute video just because they saw it on Twitter. I think uh, add it on YouTube, um, just a donation link in the description and through that I can make money to help poverty. Yeah, that's what I've done. And um, what's that uh, statistical evidence you've got up there? That's about social media use by age group. I social found. media. So yeah. is that uh, the age group that supports your TA in terms of uh, what YouTube? It's for all social media. For what? Sorry? All social media. It social shows media. that we use, yes. use social media more. Right. So I won't be distributing it through yeah. social media. Okay. All right. Cool. <coughs> and yeah, I mean, I think you probably could have added a little bit more detail uh, in relation to your target audience and distribution, um, Ben. Just you've got a very clear idea, and it's a very nice idea, you know, and the narrative works, and I can really clearly see it in terms of 
obviously the black and white and the colour and the low angles and the high angles. And I really like the idea of obviously having those statistics uh, on like walls, just subtle sort of yeah. things or like um, bits of cardboard that you see. I don't know how easy it is for you to, to be able to film some of these things. So how are you going to film some of the things? Are you going to actually film homeless people or are you going to uh, have no, an actor? I'm going to have an actor. An actor. Yeah. yeah, it's probably the best option, I would say, because then you can put that actor in certain locations. What I would also say is if you are going to be filming in certain dodgier looking locations, that you have someone else. Oh, yeah, you. I will. I'm going on. Yeah. I've got a uh, dad. So. Have you got that plan? Good. Um, so, yeah, so I can clearly see that. And I think, you know, you really should utilise the ideas of, like, you know, having things. I mean, I don't know how you're going to do it on a wall because you can't just normally spray. Can you go spray paint here on walls? No, yeah. I'm going to do it in post. Oh, you're going to do it in post? Yeah. Because you can actually spray paint on walls here. Uh, and pretend you're wherever you are. Yeah. Yeah. Can you use um, chalk spray so it washes off? Yeah. Maybe. So that's a possibility because yeah. you could actually do a stencil. So if you could set up a, like, a location somewhere around here that looks like more like a not cardboard city type bit, but you could create yeah. it. So that's something to think about in terms of your locations. And just to help you as well in terms of safety wise, it might be something that you want to do. Maybe. And obviously you can do it post uh, if you want, but that's something else. Um, a good uh, example to show of um, somebody using things like that. So I don't know if you've seen, uh, there's a Bob Dylan documentary and there's a Bob Dylan music video where he's, it's very famous he's where he's holding cardboard, cardboard yeah. and he's, dropping, he's chucking the cardboard uh, while he's singing. It's very famous and it was used also in a, a good documentary that I actually talked about in the second year. Um, but that's a classic, you know, uh, thing that you can you can do as well if you wanted to. You can emulate that style in, in a bit yeah, of your maybe. music video if you wanted to. Um, so it's very clear about that. I think you probably just need to support your target audience a little bit more because uh, you said you did research. That's fine, but you need to just evidence that a bit more. And probably I don't know because we can't see your proposal. You need to suggest statistical evidence. So you can say like according to uh, you know, um, I don't know what sort of sites you looked at, but the research that you looked at, um, you know, 65%, 25 to 30 year olds are into this yeah. genre of music. So it's whether you look at Spotify. I did have that in my script. Is it in your script? Yeah. All right. So you didn't really say that though. Yeah, I didn't doing... want to go with five minutes. So. All right, that's fine. No, that's fine. Um, but it's just so it's, de it's a little bit more detailed in your target okay. audience, yeah? And in your distribution as well. You say Kerrang, but just verify the audience of Kerrang. You know, who, who looks at Kerrang? Have a look at their demographics. Have a look at MTV and look at their demographics. And just say, I want to, and it's nice that you've chosen, don't get me wrong, it's nice that you've chosen different platforms to roll it out on. You just need to support that a little bit more by okay. your proposal, all right? Um, but it's a nice idea, and I think obviously I can, I can clearly see it, you know, and, and how you're going to do it. So, you know, right. it's a good suggestion. Um, yeah, so yeah, I like the idea. Um, and you're, where is it you're going up to again? At Rock Yeah, it's going to the other way because your family there, so they're going to yeah. do it yeah. out there, yeah. Um, yeah, so it'll be in a different location to see, which is nice. Um, so yeah, when you say like you're promoting poverty, I think maybe raising awareness. Raising awareness is a better way to put it, if okay. you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I like the idea, especially of putting it on walls, holding it up by cardboard, and making it sort of like yeah. So it's not too in your face. It's quite subtle, but if you see it, it's still effective. If that makes sense. Okay. Um, so yeah, I like the idea. I'll have to listen to the song so I can get a, a better understanding of it. Um, maybe with people to donate to poverty charities. So if you're gonna, with your audience, if you want, if you're classifying them in terms of um, these are the age range that would donate, then maybe at the end of your film having like a black screen with please donate here or go on here to donate. And then with your distribution, because target audience and distribution link in together. Um, okay. So whatever's happening with your target audience, you need to always remember how it's gonna, what's gonna, how it's gonna affect your distribution, if that makes sense. Okay. When you say YouTube and video, and not on social media, potentially because it's a sensitive subject, it might do well on social media because it's because you're raising awareness, you're spreading the word. 
Uh -huh. You might get more of a, like a reaction on social media from it, if that makes sense. Yeah. For example, I might not watch a music video if it's just like a Beyonce one, but if it's got a subject back to it, for example, poverty, I might watch it on Facebook okay. or social media or something like that. So maybe do, just have a look into it a little bit more there. But other than that, I think it's really good, really good idea. Right. Just make sure the locations, the actors you use, all that is just executed. Um, yeah. That you do it as professionally as you can. Right. Well done.